before we get around to putting the main bearings in it and the crank in it, and we're also going to uh, do some plastic gauging, checking the main bearing clearance, uh, you, you want to go ahead and put the cam in first because it's just easier to put it in while the crank's not in there. Uh, just makes it a lot. You can reach down in the engine and line everything up. Now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm just using regular old engine assembly lube. This is Cleavite 77 bearing guard. I got a couple old bottles of this been laying around forever. Um, now, in case you're wondering why I'm not using cam break-in assembly lube for the new lifters, this is a roller cam. Uh, there is no break-in for a roller cam. Uh, you can you could actually just use regular uh, a good thick motor oil on it, and it would be fine. Soak your lifters, of course, which I will. And I'll probably do show you a little something about that too. Okay, but I'm just going to go ahead get everything covered in this oil really good before I go to put it all the way in and you just want to take your time try not to bump the loads on anything and once you got it stick it in that far it makes it a lot easier to go ahead and lube the rest of it that way and I had to polish this crank up or this I'm sorry this cam just like I did the crank, it was tarnished and had a little bit of surface rust on it like everything else did. Just use scotch Bright on it. And I did also put some of this lube in those um, roller cam bearings that are in the block before I stuck this in. Another way that might make this easier is, is actually this is it's the better way if you uh, have the engine in a car and I'm installing another cam, you can go ahead and bolt your cam gear to it to the front, and it would give you some leverage. But since I can reach down inside of here and line everything up, this will work just fine. Make sure it feels okay when I turn it. Don't want to feel any catching or grabbing. It shouldn't with only roller bearings. We'll play, of course. Plus, this turning it kind of works that lube into the uh, needle bearings and those roller bearings. And let me get the cap. Also, this. Uh, now the stock cap that goes over the cam doesn't have this Torrington bearing in it. This was a kit I had ordered, I think from Ford Motorsport. I can't remember exactly. But uh, just something else that reduces friction. And if I can remember right. I was looking for an oil hole that lines up with this groove, but since this block 
has been machined for all the bearings. I guess that's gone. I do see a notch right there, which does not line up any of that. Yeah, see, they, they, these have been, these bearing bores have been bored out quite a bit bigger than stock. So I guess that oil groove is gone. On stock ones, there's an oil groove. I think it's lined up with one of these holes. It lines up these notches here. On this particular case, with these roller bearings that have been installed in this block, I don't think it matters. I do see a bit of a notch there. So, at least what's left of it. So I'm going to go ahead and line up that notch with that. See if I can do this without dropping it with my slippery hands. I don't want to look like a... As one guy put it on another video, it was the assembly of the... Or disassembly of the power steering valve on my Trino. He told me it looked like a chimpanzee disassembling it. Now I made it very clear... It was the first time I had worked on one of those, so bear with me, but he had to throw his nasty little insult in there anyway. Um, for you people out there that do that, you're not hurting anyone's feelings. You're not getting the best of them. You're just showing how much of a jerk you are. And believe me, I would like to word it differently, but I clean it up because YouTube is pretty strict on language. But... Um, you people really shouldn't waste your time if you just go on there and th to throw insert, insults at people. I shouldn't even bother to mention it, but you know, you, you people who make the bad comments, you're not cool, you're not funny, you're just showing how much of a nobody you are. And for all the nice comments, hey, I like all you people, I appreciate you all. But Anyway, just wanted to say that. Nothing you can say that I haven't heard before. I've worked with some pretty bad people in my trade, so. That's just all i got to say about that. I guess the best way to put it is, get out there and do something instead of criticizing everybody else. Alright, now that that's snugged up, there's really no way to torque that down. There probably is a torque spec for the original bolts, which are cap screws, not flathead. And these little flatheads seat pretty well. And so I won't lose it. I'm going to go ahead and screw in the uh, bolt and washer for the timing gear. don't want to put the timing gear on yet. It'll be kind of be in the way. Probably wouldn't, but I'm just going to... Well, i got it. When I put the timing chain and gears on, I gotta have the crank on so it all slides on together. So that's why I'm not doing that yet. 